get the sounds, bitch. Hey Royal Family, it's Cash Me Out. I am Queen Supreme and I'm back at you again for another video. This time we're gonna talk about Aaliyah Cameron. Aaliyah Cameron was found unresponsive in her bedroom after her mother allegedly left her alone while going to work, left her in the care of her living boyfriend, Mr. Scarlett. Now, because I do not know how to properly pronounce his name, we will refer to him in this video as Mr. Scarlett. However, first, again, I would like to read you an article from Fox 5, and we will look at some video clips in the matter, and then we will, at the end, you know, of course, I will leave my commentary in this story. Now, Fox 5, Las Vegas man accused of killing toddler told police, I know I did this to her. A man accused of killing his girlfriend's daughter told police he felt responsible for her death. According to an arrest report from Las Vegas Metropolitan Police, Mr. Scarlet, 21, was arrested May 26 for the murder after three-year-old Aaliyah Cameron was pronounced dead at University Medical Center on May 25th. LVMPD was called May 25th at 7.22 p.m. regarding a sick or injured child, according to the report. The girl, Cameron, was quickly transported to UMC and was pronounced deceased at 7.53 p.m. The medical staff noted significant bruising to Cameron's abdomen, face, arms, and cuts to her chin and upper, um, the inside of her lip, lips. Staff estimated Cameron was dead for three to four hours before arriving at the hospital. Cameron's mother said that she left for work about 10 a.m. on May 25th and left her daughter in the care of her boyfriend, Scarlett. Scarlett left let her know via text message that her daughter fell while playing in her bedroom, but that she seemed fine. The mother came back home around 4 p.m. and Scarlett said the girl was in her bedroom taking a nap. The mother also took a nap and woke up about 7 p.m. She told police that she was concerned about Cameron, who was still asleep. Scarlett went to check on her and she was found unresponsive. Scarlett said that Cameron had fell in her bedroom while playing. According to Scarlett, Scarlett began exhibiting flu-like like symptoms, so he gave her some Tylenol and put her to bed. Scarlett later admitted to police that he was frustrated by the girl's crying from the fall. Scarlett said that he forcefully grabbed the girl by her sides and threw her over his right shoulder with her stomach area directly over his shoulder. Scarlett told police that, that he squeezed very tightly as he took Cameron to her bedroom. Scarlett then bent down and threw her to the ground so hard that her head bounced off of the floor. Scarlett said that Cameron immediately stopped crying. Scarlett told police I know I did this to her and stated, it looks very vicious, I did that. Scarlett's next court date was set for June 4th, which has already passed, and that was at 8.30 a.m. Now, like I stated, we have some clips in the matter that we're going to look at, and of course, I will meet you on the other side with any follow-up commentary I have in this matter. Let's go. Saturday, someone killed a three-year-old North Las Vegas girl. Tonight, the girl's father wants justice. Fox Eyes' Kyla Gaylor talked to him. Yashin Cameron shares custody of his three-year-old daughter, Aaliyah, with his ex, the girl's mother. He told me Aaliyah went to her mom's house on Friday. Aaliyah was killed the next day. Yashin's ex called him Saturday night. She called me with the weirdest phone call I ever got in my life, talking about, uh, uh, 
Um, I don't want you to, 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 to think I did this. I don't want you to think I did this. Her brain is out. Her brain is out. Like, her, my, my daughter was severely beat to death. Yasheen Cameron still doesn't know what happened to his three-year-old daughter, Aaliyah. When he last saw her on Friday. She was perfectly fine. Doing what three-year-olds do. Her sister and her, they was playing before she left. Left for a weekend with her mother and her boyfriend. Danagio Scarlett. Dinaggio is now behind bars. Court records show police charged him with murder and child abuse. She was so excited. She was so happy at her birthday. I swear to God, she was. Yasheen took Aaliyah to the aquarium last month for her third birthday. Always laughing. Always making me laugh. My kids, they comfort me. Say love you, Leah. They mean the world to me. Say love you, sissy. Soraya can barely say Aaliyah but she never left her big sister's side. They have, they share the same room. She looks for her sister every day. My baby is really suffering for her sister. We all are suffering. Aaliyah's stepmom wants answers too. This is her necklace, so I'm gonna always wear it. We are very close. The family saw Aaliyah yesterday at the funeral home. Our baby brain was out, she only screamed. She can't get her hair done for her funeral. They want to know why Dinaggio is the only one charged in the case. She is her mother, that's not her dad. She is responsible because I gave her to her. We need justice. justice. This wasn't the first time Aaliyah ended up in the hospital. In 2017, Yashin told me his daughter was beat so bad she ended up in a coma. He said he tried to fight for full cost for full custody, but he lost. Kylie Gaylor, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. All the blame on me? You feel me? Because I, I was blind just like you guys. Malaysia Daniels is feeling both pain and anger over the death of her daughter Aaliyah. She's also defensive, pointing out it's her ex-boyfriend that's accused in the three-year-old's death. You're not even bashing the person that did it. You're on social, you're on the media bashing me like I, I like I was at home. Police took 21-year-old Dinaggio Scarlett into custody under suspicion of murder and child abuse. The Clark County Coroner says the cause of death multiple blunt force injuries. Malaysia says she left Aaliyah with Dinaggio while she went to work. Now your boyfriend, he was charged with her death. Do you have any idea what could have happened? I don't know what could have happened, man. I didn't think he was the type of person that had any anger. I can't defend him. I hate him. Malaysia is defending her own parenting. 13 Action News obtained this document from the Clark County Department of Family Services stating in November of 2017, Aaliyah was removed from her care for protection and allegations of abuse and neglect. Yes, she was placed with my child's father. Okay, she was placed with she. You know, I went through classes, I went through everything. And that father now wishes Malaysia had never regained partial custody, wants to know what happened to the little girl. All I want is justice for my daughter and peace. That's it. Child abuse remains a difficult topic in Southern Nevada. Just last month, UMC Children's Hospital recorded a 29% increase in fatalities relating to child abuse in patients from 2017 to 2018. UMC also says the number of abuse-related fatalities increased by 200% when compared to figures from 2016. Austin Carter, 13 Action News. A judge denied bail in the murder case against a 21-year-old man accused of killing a child. Metro police say Dinaggio Scarlett was babysitting a three-year-old girl when he killed her over the weekend. Hector Mejia was in court this morning and has an update on the case. The suspect is staying behind bars at least until his next court hearing. Dinaggio Scarlett had his second court appearance this morning. Today, we learned prosecutors kept the charge of murder, but dropped the original charge of child abuse in this case. Metro police say a three-year-old, Aaliyah Cameron, died under Scarlett's care over the weekend. The 21-year-old was babysitting her near Bonanza and Mojave, according to police, while the mother was at work. But when she returned, Aaliyah was not breathing. An autopsy report later revealed the three-year-old child died from blunt force injuries. My inclination is to hold them without bail on the murder case, and obviously the child abuse charge has been denied. But According to police, when the mother returned home, she was told by the suspect Aaliyah was sleeping. But when she checked, the child was unresponsive. She was pronounced dead at the hospital. Scarlett is due back in court within 15 days. We'll let you know what happens during that court appearance. Reporting from downtown Las Vegas, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now is dead. Her death ruled a homicide. And new tonight, the baby's father saying 
a past incident should have been taken more seriously. 13 Action News reporter Leah Pizzetti is live with the father's call for accountability tonight. Leah. That's right. The baby's father and stepmother say that she was in perfect health when they handed her off to her mother for the weekend. Then just 24 hours later, authorities were called to this apartment complex over here and the child was pronounced dead. Friday evening, three-year-old Aaliyah Cameron was fine when given to her mother for the weekend. Just a day later, Aaliyah was dead. Her death ruled a homicide, her mother's boyfriend in custody on suspicion of murder and child abuse. We had plans for the summer. She was excited, she was happy. And it's, it's just crazy how someone so evil People so evil. Someone who's supposed to protect her didn't protect her. Aaliyah's father, Yashim, and his wife, Deshelle, say this isn't the first time there was an incident while Aaliyah was in her mother's care. Documents show Aaliyah, age one, has a serious head injury and is in critical condition in 2017. Yashim claims something happened while Aaliyah was in her mother's care, but the documents later go on to say there was no explanation as to how the child sustained the internal brain bleed. Yashim says, if authorities had taken that first incident more seriously, this weekend's tragedy might not have happened and he would still have his little girl. So he's vowing to make change. Now, now my princess is in, is in this funeral home dead. She's dead. It's not, it's not fake. This is real. This is real. Y'all need to wake up. This needs to be a new law. When y'all do something to y'all kid, first time is done. Your parenting rights is over with. Yashim has said that he's made it his goal to create harsher punishment for parents who do abuse their children. We did try to reach out to Malaysia, the child's mother, to hear her side of the story, but no one answered. Reporting live, Leah Pizzetti, 13 Action News. Royal family, we heard from the biological father, and it is important to note that the biological father has basically you know custody or had custody of the child due to prior cps um you know situations that had happened um where the child that we're talking about Aaliyah cameron had been abused on another portion of time and went into a coma due to that abuse and also, it's important to remember that this child was only there for the weekend because the dad and the biological dad and, you know, the stepmother, quote unquote, um, in this case, I don't know if they're married. That's why I said, quote unquote, it seems like nowadays people will just call people, you know, husband and wife so easily, but I'm not, no shade, no shade. Um, but basically... This child was only there for a short period of time. And this story actually reminds me of a story of a little girl named Shania Davis. Now, Shania Davis's death was a little different. However, the father basically had, um, you know, sole custody. Um, and he allowed the mother to see Shania on the weekend. Um, and this one weekend, royal family, Shania was molested to death essentially now at some point in time we will look at this kid that case also um because that case is kind of what started me into wanting to be an advocate for children now um the cause of death was multiple blunt, blunt force trauma she was only three years old which is definitely sad however he had stated that she had fell um, you know, whether he had threw her or not, that she had fell and she was crying. Well, duh, children cry when they're hurt. Now, I do not believe that she fell. I believe that he had beat her. He was tired of, you know, dealing with um, having to watch somebody else's child, which often happens in the world that we live in. And that's why you should be careful about who you allow to watch your children. Um this shit is sad, royal family. Um, we saw the sister who probably at this point doesn't understand where her sister is. Um, I saw the sister looking at the camera when they were talking about Aaliyah and kind of being looking kind of confused as to why, you know, what was going on. 
Um, very beautiful little girl at the same time though. Um, the mother, however, the mother royal family. Now we're going to start calling bitches that have this type of attitude, the Brittany Bowen syndrome that they have been infected with the Brittany Bowen syndrome. Now the mother allegedly was at work, right? She went to work at 10. She got home at four. Um, you know, her little boo boo, her little live in boyfriend, um, told her that her daughter had fell. And instead of going to check on her daughter, she went to take a nap into which the child, Aaliyah Cameron was laying there for hours dying. Okay. I don't know how long it took for her death to take place. However, her skull, um, her brain was hanging out of her skull. So to me, if the mother really cared so much, she would have been checking on her child right when she got there. Also the fact that you know, this stepdad or this live-in boyfriend dude or whatever, Mr. Scarlet had um, given the baby Tylenol because he had stated that the baby had flu-like symptoms, which would lead you to believe that, um, you know, she was throwing up and stuff. And normally kids or people, period, throw up when they have a concussion. And that may have been due to the concussion or the injuries that were produced by Scarlett. I in no way, shape or form believe that she fell off of anything, not with these, um, injuries that she received the prior, um, abuse. We had talked about the coma. We heard about the coma, um, and prior abuse and prior CPS being involved. And ultimately CPS again, failed this child Royal family on the ultimate level. This is so sad. Um, I did hear about this case at the time, but we were kind of looking into Malia and I was waiting for more information to unfold Royal family, but I did decide to look back into it. Ultimately, I want to look into every case where a child has ever been failed, regardless of the color or the matter, um, that was the cause of death. We definitely need to put their information, that information out there and, you know, wake up humanity. These cases are coming very fast royal family and salute again to people that are sending me um stories and stuff like that please continue um but make sure that if you do not want me to like state your name as the source um in the video make sure that you let it be known that you wish for me not to disclose um your name or whatever um, we, I would definitely, um, keep your name anonymous if that is, um, how you would like it to go. Um, but much love to those that are sending me information. I am just one person trying to sort through all of these cases, um, and hopefully, you know, wake up somebody, um, as well as get justice for these children and allowing their stories to be told. Some of these stories, again, Royal family, because of the abuse, um, whether sexual or physical, um, or the fact that they're a minor little to no information comes out in some of these stories. So, you know, we got to work together as a team or whatever to get this done. However, much love and thank you for all the support that everybody is showing um, to my channel, my platform, and my movement that I am starting um, to push for justice for these children. This is not something new in reality. I have just decided now that I would like to um, hone in and focus on children being failed as well as domestic abuse situations. Um, or just anybody that can't fend for their self in reality is something that would spark my interest and I would definitely do a video on it. With that said, Royal family, much love. Stay you, stay royal, stay uncompromisable. I will, of course, continue to look into this story. We know that he just went to court the other day. So um, I'm going to continue to look into what happened at that court date. Um, I in investigating this case did not see anything that just jumped out at me. Um, even when I entered these clips in today and searched her name and stuff like that on YouTube, I didn't find any additional clips, you know, far as after court or whatever had taken place. So with that said, please, um, 
be ready for an update because when I get updates or any information in any of these cases that are stated, I will definitely expound on those. Much love. Again, stay you, stay royal, stay uncompromisable, stay woke, take care of those kids, and I will see you in another video. Much love.